Today's the first day of winter and the shortest day of the year will also coincide with a celestial event that hasn't been observed since Galileo's time in the 17th century. I bet you haven't heard about this yet. Our solar system's largest planets have been creeping closer together in the night sky all month long. And New Six anchor Julie Broughton spoke to Seminole State Planetarium Director Derek DeMotter about tonight's Great Conjunction. Tell us about this big celestial event hundreds of years in the making. So, since 1623, about 15 years after Galileo's first time looking through a telescope, uh, there was this really cool, uh, what we call conjunction in astronomy, where uh, the planets Jupiter and Saturn are going to be very, very extremely close in the sky. And to give you a little bit of perspective how close they'll be, they'll be one-fifth of the diameter of the moon apart. So they're going to be extremely, extremely close. And why is this so rare? Why do we just not see this often? Well, it all has to do with the orbits of the planets. So Saturn and Jupiter orbit, uh, they take a lot longer to orbit the sun. So the alignment, if you will, and the positions of where they are in the solar system make it such that uh, these conjunctions don't happen as often because it takes a while for them to travel around the sun and the positions of them just don't, just don't match up well enough. Um, but this actually, the conjunction itself does happen um, every 20 years or so, but it doesn't happen in, in terms of our view of the sky, it doesn't happen to be as close as it does until, until this year. If you have a telescope and if you have one at home, you can actually see uh, using a fairly modest eyepiece, both Jupiter and Saturn in the same field of view and how cool it is to actually see both objects in, this, in, in, in one field of view. So I think it's just a, a really, um, you know, a fascinating time to, you know, see something that's fairly rare. You can see both planets in one eyepiece. And that's exciting to me because, you know, it's a chance for people to go outside, to look out and see something uh, magical this holiday season. So this is something that if we step outside, we can look up and see without a telescope? Yes. So actually, uh, you can see them right now in the sky. Uh, if you look to the west right after sunset, you will see two fairly bright stars in the western sky. Um, and one, the brighter one is Jupiter. The one a little bit smaller toward the left is Saturn. And those two objects are going to get closer and closer and closer together each and every day until the 21st uh, of this month in December, where the planets will be very close to the point that depending on how your eyesight is, they may look a little, little uh, blurred together, but the human eye is pretty good about seeing differences. So we should be able to see both still split apart, but it, they'll be very, very, very close. Why should we consider, you know, going outside and taking a peek at this? Well, so the planets um, have a lot of uh, importance to our, our history. For example, the seven days of the week that we enjoy, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., actually come from the observations of these wandering objects in the sky. Uh, Jupiter actually comes, uh, actually it was observed by the ancients as Thursday and Saturn as Saturday. So, um, Humans have always had this fascination with the night sky and the movement of the planets and positions of the planets. And uh, some of these conjunctions actually were used as markers for events and stuff in the past and whatnot. So it's just cool to look up in the sky and see the changing uh, aspects of our planet and other planets in our solar system and know that our world is constantly in motion and other worlds are in constantly in motion and how that's actually helped uh, lead to the development of all the things that we enjoy in the modern world. And Derek sent us this photo that he took Friday night in downtown Orlando. If you look closely there at the top of the picture, you can see Jupiter and Saturn shining over Lake Eola. Beautiful shot there. The Seminole State Planetarium is hosting a virtual viewing event using their telescopes for tonight's conjunction on their Zoom page and on their Facebook Live. If you have interest in that, you can sign up for it. We've posted a link in this web story on clickorlando.com. And since this is happening so close to Christmas, some people are calling it the early Christmas star, I like which that. I think is sweet.